Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 10th in the year of our Lord, 2017. And this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 4 and 5, which read, And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell, yea, I say unto you, Fear him. Now, friends, I felt it important to talk to you about fear this morning because, as you know, we are being told in the news that North Korea is about to launch missiles against the United States. And our president seems to be using rhetoric that would push them to do so. I mean, we have to remember Kim Jong un, according to his own practices, is a godless man. And being a godless man, obviously pride is a central part of his life. And when being pushed as he is by our president, by the verbal rhetoric that he is using, it would seem that Kim Jong-un would act out of that pride just to prove our president wrong, just to prove the United States government wrong. But what we have to remember in this is that God is in control of all things. No matter what happens, God either allows it or disallows it for a very specific purpose. You see, hardship, famine, poverty have been a part of this world for thousands of years. And if something like this were to happen, nuclear war against the United States, nuclear war against North Korea, which could even be a start of a world war, We have to be careful in assuming that God would not allow this to happen because he doesn't want us to fall into a desperate state. But the history of God's people has always been one of hardship and suffering. And so if God does allow war to occur, praise him for it. And if it is not yet his time, praise him for that as well. But we know from reading our Bibles that things are going to get very bad before the return of the Lord Jesus. Now, we are told in Amos chapter 5 and verse 18, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So what the prophet Amos is basically saying is we should not long for the day of the Lord to come because many, most, are going to die horrible deaths on that day or during that time. And yet, I have to be honest with you, friends, there's something in my spirit that cries, come Lord Jesus. And so probably, foolishly speaking, I invite that day to come because I want this world as we know it to come to an end and I want the day of righteousness to appear. I want Satan to be bound, and I want sin to be eradicated from this earth. And all the pain and suffering and misery, hatred and prejudice that goes along with it. But I know in times like these, it's easy for one to worry, to become anxious, to become fearful of what could take place, the possibilities of what is to come. But I want to remind you again of our text. Luke chapter 12, verse 4. I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body and that have no more after that that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Troubled times are coming, friends. 
whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's a year from now, or whether it's 10 years from now. The Bible says that there is a war that is coming, that the blood will reach the bridles of horses. And so we know that many are going to die, much suffering will take place, and absolute annihilation will occur. We know that many will go hungry, babies will die, and sin will increase. But in all those things, we are not to fear. For what is this life but a puff of smoke? Yet our future is an eternity with Jesus in a place that we can't even begin to imagine. And so no matter what happens, no matter what you hear on the news, do not allow yourself to be swept away by fear. The only fear that should be evident in the life of a believer is the fear of God who has the ability to cast our soul into hell. So pray for these countries. Specifically, pray for these leaders. And remember, nothing can take place unless the Lord allows it, because he has an appointed time for everything. Let your fear be turned to joy and your sighs to hallelujahs. Well, friends, I love you. May your journey be blessed with the Lord Jesus today. And in all you do, may you bring him honor, glory, and praise. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.